Hey everyone, it's Rolls the Gamer. This is episode 15 of the Final Fantasy IX playthrough. This one's a little different, so I'm doing a direct recording of uh, audio straight to commentary instead of my cleaner method that I use. Anyway, Chocobo Forest. I never got around to doing this when I first played it on the PS1. So I didn't know how incredibly almost breaking some of the items you can get so early on. Anyway, if you stop it and he doesn't ask about Garnet, which is interesting. And continuity. There's nothing mandating you to do this for this, but as early on you can start to get at least some valuable items. I put, um, I'm going to mute it when we get there, but I put the, uh, the actual game of collecting stuff on four times speed, which is why this part is so short, um, because it was originally 18 minutes, and most of it was just me doing Chocobo Hot Cold, but I realized it doesn't take that long to talk about. So they're beak level six already. Like it just lets you kick the hell out of uh this stuff. Oh, look 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 at all those level bonuses too. We're in four times speed. But you just keep collecting here. You pick up the items called chocographs, which basically you can ride your chocobo on the world map and dig these areas up. And there's always some good treasure there. There are some items that you can't get anywhere else in the game. Uh, for later game characters especially. Uh, there are some items that you can get super early. Similar to like doing the steel mechanic. But as you see, it's just... After you get four, you get a time bonus. And then you can find up to eight early on. Uh... And he gives you additional bonuses for the time remaining. Getting your Chocobo's beak to level 99 is an achievement in this game. I never completed it. Yet, anyway. Um, but here we're just... This is basically doesn't go any better. If you can find all eight in uh, your one minute period, like you're doing good. Because you will find a lot of junk, but at the same time, you can find gill here, which, like, literally the game can kind of play for itself, which is nice. You can find, like I said, choco chocographs, um, healing items, if you don't have 99 of those. And you can trade in your points from digging the stuff up. To Mene here for, you can get like the ultimate robe for casters, the robe of lords here too. And you can do that all in the first, uh, first disc too. Alright, and you just want to 
trying to keep collecting in one area until he says, Choco can't find any more chocographs here. And then you have to wait to go to another location or until your chocobo gets another ability. Uh, like to cross mountains or to cross rivers or oceans. Um, Choco can go, even can fly on her own or his own, I forget which, eventually, so. Definitely want to uh, keep going. I think I might have mixed two thoughts there. I, I just got extremely tired. <laughs> anyway, just keep keep building the beak up here. I honestly think my mind drifted to Final Fantasy X-2 for a second. Because I've been thinking about that. Of course, this sometimes happens too, where you'll find four or five and then you just can't get the other prizes um before time runs out just perfectly fine all you're trying is to uh oh good tom brady and the tampa bay buccaneers beat aaron Rodgers and the packers can't say i'm surprised but i want either the bills or chiefs to win the super bowl they should be the Super Bowl. They're the two best teams in the league, arguably. 